Hey guys, welcome to Tune In Tuesday with Tim. Um, I decided to get a little more comfortable and bring you into my lair. So a lot of exciting things happening in the musical world this week. TLC, first of all, has decided to start a Kickstarter for their new album and final album. They're going to offer a lot of cool things actually. There's going to be vinyls, voicemails, and sleepovers. Yes, you can even get a sleepover with t bars or Chili. Uh, Bjork! Exciting news for Bjork fans, she finally released um, information about her new studio album called Volna Cura. Um, she released a track list earlier this week, and there were reports that it leaked even though its release date wasn't until March. So, uh, another victim of way early leaking, a la Madonna. Um, but, apparently she tweeted that, or her record label tweeted that, they will in fact be releasing it over the next 24 hours. Um, so that should nip that in the bud. Um, so if you're a Bjork fan, look forward to that, because I definitely am. I've heard a few tracks off of the new uh, LP, and it sounds pretty good. Like good old Bjork, you know? Something we haven't really heard in a while. Volna Cura is the name of the new album. Giorgio Mordor, Mordor, he is releasing an album called 74 is the New 24, <laughs> um, and he's a father of disco and dance tracks, if you will. Uh, it's got some big names on there. Sia, Britney, Kylie Minogue, uh, Mickey Echo, Charlie XCX. Kylie Minogue's single with him actually uh, just rolled out yesterday, I believe. I got some deep cuts for you this weekend, uh, kind of from all over the board. <laughs> uh, number one, we have El King. Um, she's an up-and-comer, ruckusy bluegrass, woman empowering, stomper kind of girl. Uh, she has a song called Ain't Gonna Drown, um, which kind of has some religious undertones from what it sounds like to me, but it is definitely kind of like indie country. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, you know, kind of folktronica, I guess, if you will. She has a new album coming out in February, from what I've read. It was supposed to come out in January, but it looks like it got pushed back. She's got this rasp that you just find in some good country singers sometimes. Next we have Aqualung. Uh, Aqualung has a new song out with Leanne Le Havis, uh, both fantastic vocalists, and Aqualung is quite a great producer, and he's been around in his hiatus, um, but I'm happy to have him back producing his own stuff. Uh, it's a song called Eggshells. Um, really delicate song, but has some some deepness to it. It's definitely got some, some bass on it, um, but kind of delicate, uh, much like the song title would suggest. And I'm just really excited to see what else he's going to be putting out. Uh, so finally, we have uh, a newer artist. Um, I haven't been able to find anything more on them, but Saint Kava is the name. This song is called Forget, and if you want deep bass, this is where it is, okay? Um, it's kind of one of those songs where they have like fast singing, but it's over like this really slow beat. It has some great sound to it, so give that a listen. Saint Kava Forget. So those are my three hits for you this week. Give them a listen. Of course, they'll be annotated throughout the video. Um, thank you for tuning in this Tuesday with Tim, and bye.